heard the news about era dr ahmed uh which news the uh, the speciality one the sp- oh yes so now they're the specialty program for foreign trained dentists the one where they could use adat to get in yes 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 is that like so many things are changing so fast yeah, in the last years yeah interesting right it's, it's just like there's the most changes i've seen in this and the whole ndb process like in this yeah. time frame there's so many yeah. different things but very interesting so what what is it you want to explain exactly so um i read university of toronto uh would be accepting adat for um the speciality programs mm-hmm. uh, from 2025 mm-hmm. so, so all yeah So they're training the like the University of Toronto and is accepting uh specialty special de- specialist foreign trained dentists. Yes. Now they're accepting ADAT into that program. Yes. yes. Into their well, is it still called the DSTAP? DSATP. DSATP. That program was there but now uh, uh no it is still called DSATP that's mm-hmm. the program. Yeah. It's a one year program but for the initial admission like into that plus the interview they want yeah. to take uh, the ADAT as the And the base exam, yes. And it's only UFT for now. The for now, I, I read about UFT. That's becoming more valuable, really, to, to students, Absolutely. right? To the foreign trained dentists. Well, just let's take like a little trip back in time and just oh, kind yeah. of discuss how it was so people yeah. kind of get a... So first it was DSCKE. I have yes. a video about this on YouTube, actually. Yes, I don't know yes, if you saw yes, it. Yes, I saw it, yes. Yeah, the, the first is DSCKE. They do that exam, and yes. then they go... Yeah, they use that to enter the specialty yes, program. Yes, yes, yes. So did you, did you ever end up doing that? Um, I read about it. I saw your videos. Yeah. So when I first came here, I I was planning to apply for that. So I was looking for radiology programs. Mm-hmm. And but um, you're a specialist. Oral medicine and radiology. Oral medicine and radiology. So, and then you tried to apply to the radiology uh, program. Yes, but there was no seat at like during that time. Mm-hmm. So and plus you cannot pre- like you cannot practice uh, the general dentistry if you're a specialist right yeah yeah so so, so that's the thing like um, let's say you're a foreign trained dentist coming from another country you're in canada but you're a specialist yeah. there is there there is a pathway where you could get licensed as a specialist yes but you could only practice a specialty you can only practice a specialty and in your case you're a specialist in oral medicine and radiology and radiology but in canada they are two separate There are two separate specialties. Yes. So how does that work? Do you get like uh, you know a free ticket for both? Or <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we we have to really like. I think I I didn't go that path. Yeah, so I didn't go into depth of that. Mm-hmm. But uh, if I would out. have been like going through that, so I would be probably talking to people in the university, like how exactly that works. Yeah, because there are loads of requirements like uh, to sure. apply for the examination. But yeah, the DSCKE. So. To, in order for you to get into that program in university, it was yeah. like a one. It's a one year thing. Yeah. But during that year, you said there's no seats during for that radiology. Time, was, no, no. Even for 2024, there were no no radiology seats. That's why it's a risk. So back yeah. then, when I used to do uh, what, like what I used to recommend in that case yeah. was, don't do the DSCK. Don't start with that because mm-hmm. it's an exp. Like it is expensive. Well, it was like seven thousand. Seven eight thousand. Yes. Just for, for the, the DSCK for exam. exam. Yes. Yeah. It has a whole separate application to the MDEB, and. You know, I would tell people, look, either wait until you're done ACJ, then do it if you yes. have resources, yes. or just finish the whole direct pathway. And then think about it. Then think about it where you have more, you know, maybe income, it's less of a risk. Yeah, I have a few friends like um, who did their AFK plus ACJ, so they yeah. had all the knowledge. Yes. And then they went for the exam, they cleared it. Yeah. Now they are practicing as specialists in Canada. Oh. So I have a few so friends. So wait, I know what, a few people. what specialties yeah. do they like uh, just out of? Ortho. Ortho is a common one, I think. I know someone who is like in perio also, mm. but they went through that MSc path, like they did MSc perio, but that is a separate path altogether. Yeah, so but so they can only yeah, practice a specialty; they can't practice yeah. the general dentistry. Yeah. Now, so they went; they applied separately. Did, were they doing the direct pathway as well, like or the general dentistry pathway, or do you not know? I don't know. You don't I know. Don't yeah, know. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. So, like. Yeah, back then it was that way, and and you know some people made it. Like you know, people made. It. I know one person that yeah. actually. <laughs> I've heard stories. I have heard yeah. stories. I have heard stories. People that their MSCs, people yeah. that they're like this uh, this pathway to get into the speciality, and I have heard like people are doing PhD also, like internationally trained dentists who come here and do their PhDs. So and does that give you the ability to practice, or is it an academic license? A PhD something? is more of an academic license. So you could, yeah, so you could only practice. Under the university, or I think so. Yeah, that's gets a little bit more tricky. Yeah, that area tricky. for me, it's a little bit more, you know, yeah. a vague pathway yes. and less predictable. So, yes. but so this is just to make sure listeners know what we're talking about. This is the 
older way, like the you yes. know with the DSEKE, then the uh, then you could get into the universities, yes. right, yes. into yes. specialties. Yes. Um, but there was a gap. There was a phase where the DSEKE just became. Uh, just got like they're canceling it. Yes, 2023. Um, yes. Do you remember? This? Yes. <laughs> it's yes. Okay, because we hope. Yes. For it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They yes. can't because the NDEB doesn't want to do the whole spe dental specialty exams. Exactly. They transfer it to um, RCDC. RCDC. Yeah. So now the NDSC, the last exam of the speciality, uh, like even if you are in this program, like the uh, DSATP, like you cover this program in the university, that's a one-year program. Or like you are uh, like training for the speciality in Canada, you have to give one exam that is NDSC. So that is now conducted by RCDC, Royal College of. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, Royal College Royal of Dentists, Dentists of Canada. Canada. Yeah. Yes, so is, yeah. so the NDEB is like you, you and the NDSE is the exam. All like even domestic or local dentists have to do like someone that's trained here as no, a specialist. specialist sorry, yes. specialist. Yes. So if you're doing endo here. You have to do the NDSC. Yes. Yes. NDEB no longer wants to do the exams for the specialist. Yes. So they transferred the NDSE, which is the final board specialist yes. exam, to the RCDC. RCDC. People are listening for the uh, oh, hearing so about this for the first time. Royal College of Dentists of Canada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's they're difficult. all confused. There's so yeah, many there's so names. many bodies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Multiple things happening here. We we are used to it. Now. Yeah, we're used. We are used so to it now. So if you're if you're all overwhelmed by all these terms it's okay you know we're we're, we're very used to it so it's okay to, for others to be um confused um but we're clarifying it so um the rcdc is going to do the ndse but in that time frame the dseke was not available anymore yes so there was no pathway for specialists foreign trained dental specialists yeah there was no pathway for them basically it's very vague, so, like it was not like nobody had a clarity on how things are going yeah but now uh, very specifically university of toronto when you go to the website so they say for 2025 they would be uh, taking adat so it's absolutely clear now like yes. you have to give adat for like as a first step towards your speciality thing. yeah so technically yes. you could say if someone already knows ADAT is replacing DSCKE. Yes. Pretty much. And then you could take ADAT. And ADAT has absolutely replaced AFK. Oh. <laughs> University pathway. <laughs> ADAT is growing. It's, it's like yes. taking over. Yes, it's taking <laughs> over. Yes. So absolutely. now this makes ADAT even more valuable. Yes. So people that are doing the ADAT exam could apply to both. Just use that one. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Were you thinking of possibly open or are you too far in the direct pathway that, you know, probably don't well, want to. I'm, yeah. I'm almost done. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm almost done. So. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, no, it's, uh, uh, but yeah, do you ever think ADAT will take over AFK in terms of direct? Was that um, even a thing that could happen? We don't know what happens. Probably yeah. yes, probably not. But uh, because we have two pathways right now, like we have the direct licensing route and then we have the university pathway. In university pathway, majorly it has taken over. Like almost yeah. all the universities are now accepting ADAT. Yeah. So you mean, yeah, yes. the university pathway, they're all switching mainly yes. to ADAT yes. almost. Yes. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't think the NDEB will ever switch because it's such a Canadian, like the NDEB is Canadian specific, I yes. think. Yes. And so. AFK has been very um, like instrumental, a big exam for uh, the licensing journey for a, yeah. like a dentist who's coming to Canada. So I think AFK is not going anywhere. Yeah. Because the NDEB yeah. is conducting it, it would be odd for them to switch but i guess the universities they're not conducting the afk they're just choosing Taking. which exam to take exactly. so they're switching exactly. to yeah interesting makes adat more valuable makes yes. it more of an option yes and um now you could also what kind like three things you could do with adat if you take it right yes you can go for like a foreign trained dentist who comes to canada he can apply for the universities through adat and uh, if they are a specialist from back home, they can look into the options of applying to the speciality through that. Uh, university, you can go to University of Toronto's website and see what seats mm -hmm. are available and which speciality. Mm -hmm. And from 2025, you can apply for that. Yeah. And uh, then obviously you can apply for, you can look into the programs for US also, like the speciality residency. So people there. could, yeah, you that, can look into I think that also. What was, it was made for like. It a, was initially made for that. It was initially used yes. for that, specialties yes. in the US. Yes. Yes. And Canada now is using it for, uh, the, the University of Canada is using it for specialty and, and general dentist for foreign trained dentists. Yes. 